World Literature The Golden Touch, a myth retold by Mary Pope Osborne Literary Terms Main Character The Central Figure in a Story Climax The Most Exciting Part of a Story that Comes Near the End Selection Vocabulary Goblet The Drinking Glass Hospitable Friendly and Generous Nugget, a small lump of gold. Pillars, tall columns. Mansion, a large house. Exhausted, very tired. Overjoyed, very happy and satisfied. King Midas is granted everything he wished for. Then he learns a lesson about the evil of greed. The main characters are King Midas and Bacchus, who is a Greek god. In Greek myths, gods and goddesses teach important lessons to people. King Midas will learn a lesson from Bacchus. Bacchus, the merry god of the vine, raised his goblet. To you, King Midas, he said, and because you have been so hospitable to me, hospitable to me ask for anything you wish and I will grant it to you. What an idea, said Midas. Anything I wish? Indeed, anything, said Bacchus. Anything? Yes, yes. Ah, well, said the king, chuckling. Of course, there's only one thing. I wish that everything I touch would turn to gold. Midas looked sideways at Bacchus, for he couldn't believe such a gift could really be his. This describes the kind of man King Midas is. My friend, you already have all the gold you could possibly want, said Bacchus, looking disappointed. Oh, no, I don't, said Midas. One never has enough gold. Well, if that's what you wish for, I suppose I will have to grant it, said Bacchus. Bacchus took his leave. As Midas waved goodbye to him, his hand brushed an oak twig hanging from the tree. And the twig turned to gold. King Midas is surprised and thrilled that Bacchus has granted his wish. The king screamed with joy, then shouted after Bacchus, My wish has come true! Thank you, thank you! The god turned and waved, then disappeared down the road. Midas looked around excitedly. He leaned over and picked a stone up from the ground and the stone turned into a golden nugget. He kicked the sand, and the sand turned to golden grains. King Midas threw back his head and shouted, I'm the richest man in the world! Then he rushed about his grounds, touching everything. Everything. Everything turned to gold. Ears of corn in his field, apples plucked from the trees, the pillars of his mansion... When the king's servants heard him shouting, they rushed to see what was happening. They found their king dancing wildly on his lawn, turning the grass to glittering blades of gold. Everyone laughed and clapped as Midas washed his hands in his fountain and turned the water to a gleaming spray. Finally, exhausted but overjoyed, King Midas called for his dinner. His servants placed a huge banquet meal before him on his lawn. Oh, I'm so hungry, he said, as he speared a piece of meat and brought it to his mouth. But suddenly King Midas realized his wish may not have been as wonderful as he thought. For the moment he bit down on the meat, it too turned to gold. Midas laughed uneasily, then reached for a piece of bread. But as soon as his hands touched the bread, it also became a hard golden nugget. Weak with dread, Midas reached for his goblet of water. But alas, his lips touched only hard, cold metal. The water had also turned to gold. Covering his head and moaning, King Midas realized his great wish was going to kill him. He would starve to death or die of thirst. Bacchus, he cried, throwing his hands toward heaven. I've been a greedy fool. Take away your gift. The artist James Reynolds Draper calls this painting Show of Hands. 
King Midas could use his hands to turn anything he touched to gold. Free me from my golden touch. Help me, Bacchus. This is the climax of the myth. What does King Midas learn about himself? The sobbing king fell off his chair to his knees. He beat his fist against the ground, turning even the little anthills to gold. His servants grieved for him, but none dared go near him, for they feared he might accidentally turn them to gold, too. As everyone welled with sorrow, Bacchus suddenly appeared on the palace lawn. The merry god stood before the sobbing king for a moment and said, Rise, Midas! Stumbling to his feet, King Midas begged Bacchus to forgive him and to take away the curse of the golden touch. You were greedy and foolish, my friend, said Bacchus, but I will forgive you. Now go and wash yourself in the river that runs by Sardis, and you'll be cleansed of this desire to have more gold than anyone else. King Midas did as Bacchus said. He washed in the river, leaving behind streams of gold in the river's sands. Then he returned home and happily ate his dinner. All right, literature practice. Answer these questions on the back of your vocabulary terms. Number one, what does King Midas wish for? Number two, what does the king's wish reveal about the kind of man he is? Number three, what happens when the king touches objects? Number four, what is the climax of the myth? Number five, what lesson does the myth teach?